It's great. I mean, there's a lot of grit. East Prairie is a lot of hard work. The community here is great. The fans here are great, and the teammates are great. It means everything to me. I mean, we get out here with our teammates and just build a bond. Just got a lot of more discipline this year. Really just weight room, getting stronger, getting more fundamental on the field. You gotta be a leader, because we want to have a future for the team. You want to teach the young guys, because if you're a leader for the young guys, then they'll be better down the road, and that's what you want. If I ever see them messing up, I don't get mad at them or nothing. I just try to correct them, try to help them be a better football player, and just do the right things. Uh, this is my hometown. I grew up with all these people. I just want to see them all do better in life. I just want to see them do stuff after high school. For me, coming in, since it's my first summer with the kids, we're doing a lot of work in the weight room, make sure kids' bodies are prepared and can handle the season. Um, something I always tell kids with football in terms of other sports, football is not a contact sport, basketball is a contact sport because we'll kind of elbow each other. Football is a collision sport because every single play there's a car wreck, and if you do not have your joints and body prepared for it, you won't last. doesn't matter how tough, how hard of a player you are, worst type of athletes and injured athletes. So if they're not on the field for us, that's a bigger issue. And then it doesn't matter what year it is for me, summer's fundamentals time, because if you don't have a base in the fundamentals, you're never gonna make it very far anyway. Culturally, it's just getting kids to understand that you can play with anybody and everybody on any given day as long as you're putting in all the hard work. Kids here haven't had as much success the last three to four seasons, so it's gonna be trying to make sure that confidence is built up and that they're ready to play. Expectations for the team this year, main thing I've stressed with them is, I want to try to bring effort and physicality to the football program, and that's what I want us to be able to be known for. Uh, we're never gonna be the largest, we're never gonna be the strongest, we're never gonna be the most athletic, but by God, if you play us, we wanna make sure our kids are giving all out effort and they're being as physical as humanly possible. If we do those two things, the kids have done everything we could ask, and hopefully the chips fall where they do after that, and it's in our favor. I love playing on Friday nights. I love being in the weight room before the game, hyping everybody up, music blasting running in right before kickoff. That's probably my favorite part. We all get hyped out here as a team and we all run out as a team. The music, I love the music. It gets me amped up. It's amazing, but especially after halftime when it's dark and the lights are just look really good. That's always something I'll really remember for a long time, the view coming out of halftime. And then just wanting to play for people that love me and people that support me. I hope to just be together, stay together as a team. I just want to be stronger, faster, better. I want to be healthier. I just want to be a better player overall. Hopefully, uh, I see us all healthy. For the seniors, I just want to see us all succeed after high school. As long as we're intact and everyone's still together and everyone's still working, giving it 100% and right where we need to be. I hope what my players can say about me for my coaching, um, I always tell kids it's okay if you hate me when you're 18 years old, if you hate me when you're 25, maybe I did something wrong. So my hope is when my players are 25 or 26, they're able to talk and go, yeah, he was really hard on us, but there was a reason why he was doing that. So hopefully they know I care and that's why I discipline and do the things I do. Hey man, as long as we're all still intact, healthy, and everybody's moving and grooving and we're starting to get things, getting guys in the boat and doing what we need to do, I'm happy with it.